Welcome once more. It's time for me to bring you another exciting book that I very highly recommend on Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Uh, the more subscribers, the better. The more subscribers gets the word out of all the great books that are out there. And this book that I'm reviewing for you today is exceptional. It is called The Black Angels, The Untold Story of the Nurses Who Helped Cure Tuberculosis by Maria Similios. This is published by Putnam and it retails for $39.99. This is really a, um, a, a story that needed to be told. Uh, it is uh, a neglected story from uh, America's past. It began in the Great Depression when tuberculosis was killing people by the tens of thousands. Uh, people were in hospitals, they went in, they did not come out. Uh, people did not know, doctors didn't know how to handle tuberculosis, uh, nurses didn't know uh, how to handle the patients, and in fact uh, a lot of the nurses were actually leaving the hospitals uh, because they were scared and they were frustrated by it all. So um, in Staten Island, New York, um, a, a hospital, which some call the sanitarium, uh, sanatorium, <laughs> was um, called Seaview, and it was uh, recruiting um, nurses. And they were trying to recruit black nurses from the South because they did not have black nurses. And so soon, um, under promise of great pay, great working conditions, and um, you know, um, a great life there, uh, a lot of black nurses came from the South. And uh, soon they were known as the Black Angels. And, but once they got there, things were not quite so rosy. There were horrible working conditions, long shifts, 12-hour shifts, and um, they had to deal with uh, a lot of patients there who were frustrated. They were dying of tuberculosis, and uh, at times they didn't know how to handle them. But uh, Maria Similios uh, does an exceptional job of researching uh, these ladies. In fact, there's one that she profiles. Uh, Edna Sutton was born in Georgia in 1901. And she came there um, under the promise of a better life because a lot of these black nurses could not find work in their own hometowns. They went through, uh, you know, uh, nursing school and they, they were certainly qualified for the job, but because of discrimination, especially in the Jim Crow South, um, they were not given the opportunity to work. But here in New York, um, there were new hopes, new promises. And uh, Maria Similios talks uh, about uh, Edna Sutton and her life, and uh, she wanted to, you know, uh, start, well, her life in New York uh, um, to buy a house. But like so many of the black nurses, she um, faced discrimination, threats from the Ku Klux Klan, and it really wasn't as cheery and rosy as one um, expected it to be. But uh, in this book, the author talks about you know, tuberculosis from the Great Depression on well past the Second World War. And uh, the research that was done, uh, the sulfa drug was the first drug that was sort of used to combat tuberculosis. Then uh, came streptomycin, which was really uh, the turning point in the war against tuberculosis. And um, the author um, does a timeline of all the research that was done, but she also looks at the conditions within Seaview uh, in Staten Island, New York. And uh, it was basically uh, because doctors didn't know how to handle tuberculosis until the um, streptomycin came, they used a lot of the patients as guinea pigs, experimenting on them, you know, figuring they were going to die anyways. So it's really chilling in parts. It's almost like a horror novel at times of what a lot of these patients were subjected to and a lot of the black nurses were subjected to as well. And an interesting uh, part of the book, George Orwell, famous for 1984, um, he's mentioned in the book, he was in Scotland. He had tuberculosis and uh, he was given the streptomycin and at first he had a reaction to it and they thought, well, they should discontinue it. But he did survive, and as you know, the rest of the story, he went on to write 1984. So that, that's another fascinating part of the book, all the little information that the author gives us. And uh, there is plenty of information throughout the book. 
So if you're looking for an exceptional read, well-researched, and most riveting, it's a book that you, you will have trouble putting down, The Black Angels is certainly uh, a book that you should add to your must-read list because it's exceptional. So if you do purchase it, please let me know if you do agree with my review. I kind of think you will. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you did find it informative. And I will be back with another book very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.